This is the case of a 60-year-old woman presenting with acute onset of chest pain and progressive shortness of breath for a day. Um, chest pain resolved but persisted to be short of breath over the course of overnight and the morning of presentation. This ultrasound image was um, obtained. This is an apical four-chamber view with the phased array probe. This is the left atrium. That's the left ventricle. This is the right atrium over here, and that's the right ventricle. Um, just looking at it overall, we don't see any clear uh, effusions. Um, for the purposes of this case, I want to focus your attention in on what the right ventricle is doing. If you observe the walls of the right ventricle, you can see um, that the free wall, when it comes into view, is not um, contracting as much as, say, when you look at the apex, where it seems like all of the contracting contractile activity is. Um, this picture of global RV dysfunction with apical sparing is what's called the McConnell sign and is suggestive of an acute pulmonary embolism. This patient went on to have some further testing with a D-dimer of over 2,000 and a CTPE that showed uh, PE is in the right upper, right middle, and right lower uh, main pulmonary arteries. So next time, whenever you have a suspicion of PE, um, take a look closely at the right ventricle and see whether or not you see a McConnell sign, where, which is essentially RV global uh, dysfunction with apical sparing. It's unclear exactly the physiology and the anatomy behind why the apex is spared in this picture, but it's a sign that is seen with pulmonary embolism.